Hey guys, it's Haley here again with Real Time Animal Rescue. Today we're gonna make Snickers out of dates. I know what you're thinking, just trust the process. There is no way that dates can taste like Snickers, but I'm telling you, I thought the same thing before I made these, but they are so good. They will surprise you and they're a great plant-based healthy alternative. So what you're gonna need is some chocolate of your choice, melted with just a little bit of coconut oil to give it that kind of glossy, thinner consistency. Some dry roasted peanuts, crushed. Um, I used a mortar and pestle, but if you have a lot of inner anger you wanna get out, just use a rolling pin and go at it. Peanut butter, creamy or chunky, your choice. And dates. So these are the like medjool, big double dates. You can get the tiny dates, but they're not gonna be as good. They're a little bit drier, they're not as big. These are a little bit on the pricier side, but they're so worth it. I got these at Aldi. I don't know, they, they really weren't that much, maybe $4, um, but this is a good treat to have on hand. So, oh, these look so good. So like you can tell they're, they're pretty big. So you're gonna, and this cookie dough sheet may or may not have peanut butter still on it from the peanut butter banana bites I've kept in my freezer since the last video. So you're gonna wanna cut it in half. Don't cut it all the way through, just enough to make a pocket. Take that seed out. It's okay if some of the lining stays in there. These are so good. Get a good scoop of peanut butter in there. Just like that, perfect. Take some peanuts. Get it in there as best as you can and try to close it. This is gonna be a, a hefty one. And you know, use your hands, you're gonna get messy. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there for now. I'm gonna I'm just gonna do a few of these as a test to show you guys how it's done. And then I'll line the rest of the sheet off camera. So cut them in half, take the seed or pit, whatever it's called out. Peanut butter, let's try to not overstuff this one. I'm afraid the other one's gonna get too messy. Right in the middle, that's better. Couple peanuts. Stuff it and try to close it. I'm sure you could use toothpicks to close these and that would make it a little bit cleaner, but who has time for that, you know? Okay, let's do a test run. Take your chocolate, mix it back up and drop your day in. Coat it completely. Perfect, that looks really good. And set it on the cookie tray. And then with your smashed peanuts, get some of the crumbs and just sprinkle a little bit on top, perfect. Salt, you guys know I love the salty sweet combo. Put as much as you want, I put a ton. And repeat with the ones that you have. I was working with limited chocolate. I thought I grabbed some at the store, but I didn't. So I'm gonna do these kind of as I cut and stuff them because I just don't know how long my chocolate's gonna last. Um, but you know, if you wanted to do all the cutting, all the stuffing, do it all 
kind of cohesively, that would make this process a lot easier. So after we get done with these, we're gonna put them in the freezer.